Just landed in New York City, 5 a.m. flight. Good to see you, brother, yeah. Great meeting you, man. I just said great meeting you. I've met him three fucking times. Coming from Andrew Santino, I know what the world needs to know. So we just touched down in Vegas. At the tables right now, Taylor's, he just started probably 40 seconds ago. I think he's down $120,000. I don't care about $50. Tools. Boys, summer is here, and what better way to celebrate than with the Chevy Silverado? Silverado summer. Think of all the possibilities from DIY projects, hardcore work, and off road excursions. Chevy Silverado has the capability and technology to make this summer the best one ever. With over nine different Silverado miles and multiple engines to choose from, from the Turbo Max to the 6.2 liter V8 to the Duramax Diesel. You can trust Chevy with all of your uh, power and performance to get anything done. We've been on the road li a lot lately, boys, and everywhere we go, it seems to be an army of Silverados and Chevy people alike hooting their horns and get after it. Head over to Chevy.com to buy whatever Silverado you would like. The official truck of Bustin' with the Boys. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Brother. Just landed in New York City, 5 a.m. flight, because the boys just, for whatever reason, every fucking flight we get on has to be at the crack of ass dawn, because we work like that. We're grinding. NYC, it's hot. Will wanted to go to a bagel shop? Russ and Daughters Bagels, appetizers it looks like. It had over 2,500 reviews, four and a half stars. And that is a first rounder on Yelp. So we're looking at, uh, we're in New York, Chris Stefano and Tom Segura. Two pods. That's it, boys. Let's go. Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. You always gotta keep your options open. 4.6 stars here. What's up, brother? How are we living? How you doing, man? Feel a little bit better? Yeah, we can eat here. We can eat here. Speaking of, we gotta talk about your Candyland comment. That was nuts. Top three board game? Yes. No shot, dog. Sorry is better than that. That's crazy. I, I, I hate to say, I hate to even do that this early in the trip. Like, we have, we have little sleep. You're telling me that's fresh wild caught salmon? Absolutely, we're in New York. You never heard of Busted in the Boys? No. Bro, you'll love it. Check it out. YouTube, Spotify, Apple. I'll it's look it up. It's a podcast. Yeah, all dudes. The camera didn't catch it, but you can't tell me our opinions didn't change on that place. The dude in there making coffees, he was awesome, made a fire cold brew, dude. This thing is just straight gasoline. That's 93 octane. Ooh! The bun or the bagel, a little too salty. It really takes away all the other flavors of the everything bagel. I wish there was a little more cream cheese on it. I think the onion was a good play. The lox. I'm not a big salmon guy, so I digress. Like, if you like lox, I'm sure you're gonna love this. Overall, I get a 4.5. Goddamn. One more bite, please. Man, compliment of the scallion. The scallion cream cheese, the saltiness. I feel like the ratios do well. If there is a department to get better in, I think it's the bagel. I do like the toasted. Fuck. I'm gonna say 4.5. Well, how, how you're talking right now is not how you talk to me in private. What have I said? You respect my game and you know I'm the second best and you have to watch out for Yeah, that was, that was like games ago. A lot's changed. You What's won, changed? You, you haven't won. Bro, I won not this past game, but the game before that. No, you didn't. Dog. Yes, I did. You even sniffed a W since a calendar year ago. Don't do that because you know I'm right. It's all registering in your head right now. I can't believe this much time has passed, but if you guys don't know, Will Compton is our most recent champion on Risk. When we go home, we can bring up Risk and we can go to the leaderboard and we can take pictures of our individual accolades. And I will put any amount of money. You see his face twitching? Hey, you see I'll, his face actually twitching when hey, he's saying it? I'll, I'll put. put I'll put any amount of money that I have a higher winning percentage than you. The last two games we played, I've won one and Brad's won one. You have not won. 
So in 2023, the only two times we've played this game, you have not snipped a victory. And you lost a big one too, you could have won. Hang on a second, are we, all are we talking there. about the, this last game that Brad won and you had the biggest collapse in American history? And I know what you you're did, doing right now. And you did. No, I didn't. You're also the same guy who threatened to quit if he couldn't win. It was two years ago. I've done a lot of growing since then. He literally threatened to like leave and like not be friends with us if he couldn't stay exactly. in the game. Now, and we he's didn't just being, now he's just being fucking ridiculous. What happened was is I was politicking. I said, "That's right. You guys can do that. I'll, I'll, I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed. That's fine. I'll just temper go to bed." Tantrums? And Will is calling a temper tantrum. I'm just saying, y'all go ahead and take me out right here. I'll go to bed. It's not a big deal. And he fucking wants to frame it like a temper tantrum, bitch. Will can play. And I'm not saying I'm I'm better than him, but for him to say I'm not second is crazy. I think stat-wise, Brad has the second most wins of our whole career. That's okay, but we're talking about we look, we're looking they at the individual. They don't ask how they ask how many, maybe. However, brother, we know Corey falls apart. Dennis falls asleep. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Dennis is five. Yeah. Corey's four. You're three. No, Brad's two. I'm Brad's four. happy to be there, and Brad happens to get victories because of you. Will and Brad are always a team. There's a reason why they're at the top because it's two v one v one v one. If you want to go out victories, sure, Brad can be too. But we all know, if the three of us were on the battlefield holding shields and swords, you'd rather see Brad than me. And that is a fact. If all of you were polled, if you could have one partner in the war room for risk, who would it be? It would be unanimous. You. Mm -hmm. Who would you put? I'd put you. I'm not arguing you have the most wins. I'm not arguing that. i put Brad. And now, listen, that's what happens when emotions get the best of people. They react. You would not take... Brad over me, and that is a fact. Let me let me retract. He probably would take Brad because Brad listens to everything Will says. We're talking about two and players controlling. Will one would rather live above somebody than with somebody. Like if Will and I went, we would lead the ship together in the strategy. That's fact. When Brad was trying to beat Will, I was telling Brad how to beat you. What are you talking about? You talking about when I, I came all the way back around, manipulated you and Corey to be on my team, and then killed you right before you died? That was because you and Brad were literally working together and you told me that. So once again, 2v1v1v1. V1, V1. Will's wins came on the back of Brad LeBron. Brad is by far the best locker room guy you could ask for. Because Brad's going to go out there and sacrifice. He's going to take on the devil team so Will can make the tackle. Will and I both want to make the tackle. Do you realize the game that you won? Who had something over Brad that ultimately made him stab me in the back. So I don't know what you're talking about when it comes to- I have nothing to, over Brad. I have, I, I, you're I lying, you're literally to lying to the camera. No, what, what do I have over Brad? Brad and I talk once every three months. No, I'm talking about the game that you won. There was nothing to have on him. Brad had to stab me in the back for you to win. I don't believe that's and true. And the entire premise of Risk is politicking. It's the entire negotiating. Pre the entire it's premise of Will's game is to make sure Taylor doesn't win. I've actually, I I actually called Will. I before we did this, we did, we did uh, two nights, a Friday and a Saturday night, late nights for the boys. I called Will before. I was like, hey, is this finally the weekend we're going to put you know, it to the side and like work together and done? Like he won. And sure enough, he tries to fucking get me. Luckily, I came out with the dub. One more than Will has hey, all of 2023. Off of the back of Brad LeBron. That happened in every, all 50 games? No. You know the game, dude. Get your cards up as much as possible. Find the weakest one. Try to snipe them when you trade your cards. And as you've on. learned over time. Brother, through me rewriting it, the book. It took me one game to learn that. Didn't I teach you guys how to basically build through Australia? I fist fought my mom's boyfriend when I was 15 years old over the game of Risk. Lost both in, in Risk and that fight, but I've been playing Risk since I barely had hair on They only do board games in Missouri because so, everybody else has other things to do. So no. why does it seem like you just picked it up? Brother, you just saying shit. If you had been playing that long, and I would I would honestly think that your game would be a lot better than what it is. An individual that I didn't have the mental fortitude I do right now would fall for all the things you're saying. However, I see right through all. Yeah, you're, you're, you're on the side. You're, you're number three in wins total. That's all I know. That's probably true. That's fact. And that's probably, okay, if it's fact, it's fact. I'm saying, if you were to look at the guys, if you were drafting guys, you might be number one. Might. But I guarantee I'm number two. I disagree wholeheartedly. I think you're hot-headed, you're volatile. That's untrue. And you, you can't make allies the way the other boys can. I make allies every game. So what I, are you I, know, about? I know you hit my phone up. You want to go back to that conversation? What? You're talking about when you stab me and then you're like, hey, uh, dot, 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 want to work together? And I said, fuck off, and then turned around, still made you an ally, and then killed you. No. That, I did that on my own terms. With exactly. I, yeah, I let you have my way. That's great. You're doing a phenomenal job right now. What however. You, we got to wrap this up soon. <laughs> however, Will's, Will's a good wrist player. I'm a damn good wrist player, too. You're solid. You're decent.
All right, we have made it to Barcel HQ. As you can see, everybody's packing up, getting ready for the Chicago move. It is an off week. The boys are in here ready to go. We got interviews with Tom Segura and Chris Stefano. Tom is here in about 30 minutes. Chris, after that, we're gonna knock them out. And we are fired the fuck up because comedians are the best. Hands. Oklahoma drill, who you got? You're a Will. I'm a Will. Guys, got kind of year 12 load? Year 10.2. 10.2. If he gets a... There's no shot. People said that, then Arthur Smith called. I don't like how he's talking. It's because we're starting a gambling show this year. So, rules change. Rules gotta be broken so they can be changed. It's facts. Rose Parks. Sure. Sure, yeah. And that's the first person who came to mind there. Uh -oh. That's a tough pivot. <laughs> what gambling show are you guys starting? You don't gamble. <laughs> I'll be in Vegas this weekend. Not on sports, he did not I'll be no. in Vegas this weekend. He's going to be the, I know exactly Taylor's type. People with your money don't risk money. Because you like having money. You've seen the hands I get dealt in. Blackjack table. Blackjack's different. I'm talking about sports. Are you doing a blackjack podcast? No, doing sports. <laughs> right. I'll gamble on sports. You're smart. You If you don't have the gambling itch, Brother, don't get it. Played the game my whole life. What game? The game of ball, the game of football, the greatest sport ever. Oh, 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 I like this. I know the game I in like and out. I like this. I like I know this. the game in and out. Yeah, I like this. Do you want to make a bet? I like this. Why isn't every former NFL player, like, making hundreds of millions of dollars gambling? Because they don't have the stones, you just said it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying, listen, I'm saying that, like, if you don't have the gambling itch, it's a good thing. Don't do that, don't pivot. it. I'm not pivoting. That's not how he was phrasing before, but why in the tape? You know, you're so stupid, you don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. Now he's now he's emotional, so no. he's, he's being reactive. You don't under you, you can't understand the simplest concept. This is how, Over. It, always, this is how it goes with Big Pat. Like, he'll just keep talking until you're just like, alright, he's filibustering. Listen, I'm a terrible gambler. I like the action. So my problem is like I can't do a pick em because I pick every game. I play every game. I'm saying yeah, that's you do, stupid. We do the you do play every that's game. That's stupid. And I'm telling game. you right now, don't do that. Do oh. not do that. Legitimately, I need to learn the ins and outs. So here's the first thing: don't bet every game. My youngest now, because I talk about my oldest, and my youngest now was like, he was in the bathroom, he's taking a bath. I get, he goes, "You have a fat penis." I'm like, hey, hey. I go, I just like don't want to address it. I go, okay. And then I turn around, he goes, "You have a fat butt." I was like, All right, man. <laughs> cool. I walk back. He's like, "You're just fat." Good, Good to see you, man. Here. Yeah, great seeing you, Tom. All right. Brother, yeah. Great, great meeting, man. man. I just said great meeting. I've met him three fucking times. What an idiot. Fuck! That guy was so stupid. I told him that already. God, what a great dude. He's fucking awesome. Hey, what's up, brother? Cool. Cool. Hey, man. Hey, man. You too, bro. Thank you. I like what's up. Welcome to the glass. You like that? That's yeah. what it is, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna grab a coffee. How do you feel? You feel good? Yeah. I'm leaving, but I wanted to come give you a kiss. Dude. Yeah, you need chapstick. <laughs> Do you want it really? Yeah, I love it, man. That was, that was, that right, was baby. fun. Nashville, you guys living? Yeah. All right, I'll be out there in February. I'll hit, I'll hit you guys up. Now I gotta fucking, this is amazing, guys. Go <laughs> through the rest of my day like this. <laughs> Chris is the dude you just want to be around at the party. I need him and Santino. Oh my God, yeah. Santino. Yeah. Wait until, wait until I testify against Santino. I'm fucking coming for you, Andrew Santino. I know what the world needs to know. All right, we just got done with the podcast. 80 billion words later. Brain is absolutely melting right now. We're gonna go get some sushi. We had a great time. Leave comments. 93 sleep score. Let's fucking go. In the bag, boys. Not to brag, but I was operating on eight. My body better, it was eight. See you guys in Vegas. We'll be meeting in Vegas. Maybe. Oh, there's no. Roblins. Yeah, don't jinx it, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. It just spaz. Oh! I have a confession. My family and I were going down to uh, Florida for 4th of July. Mm -hmm. We stopped at Bucky's and I got excited because I was like, I, I made a stop in there once before and I saw the light. So I made like my wife, my brother-in-law, his girlfriend. Was it their first time? My times? kids, they're all their first times. Oh. 
and I was like hyped up. And it was every, it was literally the same exact place. I was there for about an hour, dude, and I realized, and I, I, this is not gonna go well. But Bucky's is overrated. I ate the barbecue. That shit was kind of butt. The beef jerky, I like my beef jerky to be a little more chewy and not as stiff. I love the trinkets and how it's big and how everyone's so consumed about the excitement. I love the statue outside. I love what it represents. But once you start peeling back layers, it is just a gas station. I think what's sad about the whole thing, the tail of one that I know, will take anything that might be fairly average to the common man. And if there's a, an ounce joy and excitement and satisfaction that you get out of it you make it seem like it can be the best thing in the world whether it's holes in your vans anything that's like really not that great and you can make that thing sound like it's the best thing in the world and that's something i've always enjoyed and loved about you you take something as loved as bucky's because ultimately it is something that's just for you know the common person to go there and enjoy a little bit more than what you get at a gas station. It's known as the Disney World of all gas stations. And I know this, if it was my first time going to Bucky's, you'd be telling me how the brisket sandwich is the greatest thing you've ever had. The breakfast burrito, yeah, it's not about that. The Taylor one I know would die on the hill for a sweet onion chicken teriyaki from Subway, even though that's all he could afford back in high school. But you would have never lost that. You would have never lost that step. Just because you got 31 years old, living the dream, that Terry Lawan that still loves the simple things in life, I know he's in there and I hope he comes back out because I sure do miss him. I had to say one thing. That was the most beautiful thing you have ever said to me in my entire life. And brother, you are so fucking right. I'm not above being wrong. So what I'd like to do, you know, it's okay with the, with the two of you, I'd like to retract my statement for now and get one last shot at Bucky's, dude. One last two out of three and pray to God I have the right mindset when I walk into that beautiful beaver's home. No, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs>just touched down in Vegas and uh, we were without one or without Taylor. Once Taylor does get down, we'll go check in at the hotel, probably grab some food. And then we got power slap tonight for the giveaway that Taylor did. We're also going to go see the boy Shane Gillis. We're going to his show tonight at 10 o'clock to support the boy. Probably hit the tables afterwards, get some rest for tomorrow. UFC bucket list getting checked. There's a rumor going around Las Vegas, Nevada right now. As we head to power slap, there's rumblings, there's whispers saying that Will Compton might be dipping his toe in the Dana White strategy of gambling. Will, do you care to comment? Johnny! What's up, man? Drop the eggplant in the comments. Power Slap, the first of two events, three events tonight. We have Power Slap, Gillis, and then we got uh, The War. Oh, hey, Buster with the boys. I didn't know you guys were on the side of the curtain. I wasn't dropping a hot promo. What's going on? What's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs>
Division and new Power Slap Plus Heavyweight Champion of the World! Missouri, we bring it back to the home state! Guys, we're here in Las Vegas. Will Compton, Taylor Lewan, uh, two podcasters. We played this part before, and they're right here. I can almost touch them. This is so cool, girl. This is so cool. I don't know what to do. I'm going to fucking run into you, girl. shop which leads to a tunnel which leads to a, a bomb shelter I don't really know Jane's big dogging right now big dog Shane big, dog. <laughs> big dogging cats I have to just make sure to play. Yeah, Phoenix got a show. Oh, shit. I know it. That's the best. 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 I picked you because I have a feeling you're going to blow it, but... <laughs> Is so he ready? Easy. He's doing Compared it. to what you do, it's so easy. No. You got the boys too, man. You got the boys. Vegas, are you ready? Do we got the dogs in the house? <laughs> My hands are small. <laughs> Las Vegas! Do we got the dogs in the house? Seven in the morning. Did power slap. Boys are rolling down there. Bane is down bad apparently. Calvary is arriving. Fucking, we go to war. Jane Gillis, dude. Will Compton's with us. Joe Rogan. All right, we're at the tables right now. Taylor's. He just started probably 40 seconds ago. I think he's down um, $120,000. Hayden. Oh. I was so I was terrified on that one. He knocked off 60 grand right there. We're making our way back. <laughs> Let's go! We're in a fucking war right now. Come on. 14, let's go. Six. Taylor, if you stare into the darkness and still see dark, you haven't stared long enough. I like that. Yeah! Fuck yeah, dude. Oh nice, bro. No, I won that one. I lost those two. Oh, I thought that was Dana. You won. Dana lost it. No, it's mine. We're in a fucking war right now. We've been doing this the whole time. Getting so close to even. Down 45. Oh, oh. Run the ball. Big, big, big. Two. Solid, it's solid. Come on. That's a pick six. 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 That's a That's third and long. Third and long to her. You're in the fringe right now. Talk nice. Talk nice. Never you're under any event, ever. What do you got there? You guys fucking resist me. 75 pounds. We're good. We're good. It's your turn. Yeah. Oh, no, no, please don't do this to me. I would get 130%. I was like, this is it. Watching that, by the way, you're not doing this. I don't care about $50. Put the camera down. Oh, my God. International fight with T-Mobile Arena in the loading docks. Not for the gen pop to be our richest singer, richest singer.
Lizard Snake. He's in that piece right there. Will Comp, though, acting like he knows where the fuck he's going. We all know he doesn't have an internal compass. That'd be a fucking dying. Thank you. Where? Last name Luan? Yeah, I got you guys. Thank Fancy you. seeing you again. Oh, you hear him? Oh, this is gonna be nuts. Go, go, go! Bro, I don't even know what to say. This is wild. Hey, it's nuts. Boys, hey, I don't know what the fuck is saying right now. It's self explanatory. We're fucking here. We got 45. That causes Dana White. Look at this fucking place. We're in Nashville fighting. What a fucking dream. Hey, no lie. This is a dream come true. International Fight Week, UFC 290, an absolute electric card. Crazy title fights, two of them to be exact. The illustrious career of Robbie Lawler finally ends. Who's a friend of mine, one of the greatest fighters of all time. And the boys came in and they conquered. We had a blast. And now we're going back to probably do a lot more fun stuff. God bless. We'll see you at the top.